All right, so what's going on, guys? We are back with another video. And, uh, yeah, you know, um, this was long overdue. I meant to start this in the beginning of 2021, but it just didn't work out. I'm not, I mean, like, it didn't, like, I just think it's the best time to do it because I just kept getting more DVDs and DVDs and more and more. And then I decided, like, you know what? Let me just make it now. Just get over with. Even though I'm probably going to make one in, like, four months or whatever, but for 2022. But anyways, but yeah, you know, uh, this is the, my WWE DVD collection of 2021. I got a lot. It's, you know, um, smaller than uh, others, bigger than some. Or is it smaller than some, bigger than others? I don't know, but anyways, you know, you get my point. Like, this is a, it's a decent collection, you know. I know a whole bunch of YouTubers that collect DVDs or WWE for that matter or wrestling, whatever. And it's just humongous. Like, makes my collection look like freaking nothing. But yeah, uh, so really, I got right here is just all pay per views. All right here from uh, 1999 to uh, 2021. Yeah, that's not that much, I know. Um, I got a very few, small selection of WWF. You know, um, you know, I got some of 2003, some of 2002, as you see. I got about most of 2004. Eh, a little bit over half, I'll say. I did complete 2005 and 2006. Those are pretty much common. You know, um, 2007, I got a lot of 2007. Most of the 2007, I got Blackbuster exclusives. Like for example, Backlash 2007 got the blockbuster. I'm uh, you know, I'm trying to collect all the blockbuster ones, so I got to complete. I think I'm missing Unforgiven, SummerSlam, Vengeance, and something else I forgot. But yeah, I'm missing a few. Um, I got uh, some Blu-rays as you can see, like WrestleMania. This I believe, I believe this was the uh, first Blu-ray for WWE. I believe. You know, I got well, Rumble. They came out on Blu-ray now. I'd rather prefer the Blu-ray, but yeah, if I get the DVD for like dirt cheap, then I'll cut the DVD. But uh, yeah, uh, I got some 2009. Actually, it's some 2009, like Rumble 2009, Breaking Point, uh, Bragging Rights. Those I've been having that since I was like, we're well, now I'm 19, so I had these for like when I was like nine, so about 10 years. I still kept them. I still kept them. They're in decent uh, condition. So yeah, um, I did collect some DVDs when I was younger. You know, like I said, nine, 10. Very small selection, very, very small. Like when I was like, like you know, like I believe I had like seven, eight, nine, maybe 10. And now I got, I don't know how much I got. I think I got about 50, somewhere around that. I think I have more, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I got 2010, a lot. 2011, a little decent amount. 2012, very small amount. 2013, very small. 2014, very small. Pretty much everything from 2012 to like 2019, a very small amount. 2016, I ain't working on it because I'm currently watching 2016. All the Raws, all the SmackDowns, all the NXTs, all the TakeOvers, all the pay-per-views. So yeah. I think right now I'm on Classic Champions. I don't, uh, I need to get that on eBay soon or, or, or I need to find it somewhere. So yeah, um, yeah, 2019, I got some on Amazon for like 10 bucks, five bucks from like discount codes or whatever. 2020, I did, uh, I tried to get all these, all the 2020s when they came out, but my Walmart sometimes would be on some BS. And I, I mean, I didn't stop collecting, I just, I just ran out of money to be honest. Um, but you know, I will be uh getting the new ones soon. Like Backlash, uh Money in the Bank, uh what else I've been missing? Hell in a Cell. Fast Lane and Chamber. And I do got one ring honor D. This one I got it at my local district play. Uh for like I think three bucks or whatever. Not bad. 
Oh, oh, it's about to fall off. Okay, okay. You know what? I didn't get how. Okay, anyways. Um, are you up? Fluff that. Anyways, uh, yeah. I got some Digipacks. I have the John Cena ones because my, my favorite growing up and my favorite now still is John Cena. So I had all his like documentaries, Digipack DVDs when I was younger. So yeah, as you can see, this is not in that good condition. But hey, it's a 10 year old DVD that I had. And plus, when you're a kid, you don't really take care of your stuff as much as you do when you, uh, you know, you're older. And then I got the last ride, Walmart exclusive, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, and there goes like the single disc or two disc documentaries or whatever. Um, uh, this is pretty, pretty cool. Let me get out. Let me get out. Uh, this best of WWF 2001. I got this on offer up for like 10 bucks. I guess somebody didn't know what they were selling. Um, I got the later DVD for like 10 bucks at a local food market. Uh, yeah, I, the most I spent on uh, WrestleMania 17, for example, I only paid like the, I could have gotten five bucks, but to get it shipped to me, I had to give the person an extra five. And I got this on Facebook Marketplace for only 10 bucks. And hold on, my dog is barking. All right, anyways. Yeah. Um, SummerSlam, you know, I got these like five bucks pretty much at a local food market. All of these Survivor Series or two, I got that for like three bucks. Where are you, where are you growing? Sorry guys, you know, my dog is growing. Yeah, you know, the most I spend, I believe, on a pay-per-view DVD. Hey, stop it. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I mean, I guess you can count these. They're 15, you know, when they come out. The 2020 uh, releases, they're 15. Um, actually, I take that back. WrestleMania 2021 and 2020 paid, what, what I paid 25, 20, whatever, how much it costs for a brand new Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, that's the most I paid, I guess, for a pay-per-view. Um, yeah. I didn't, for Blockbuster, the most paid for a Blockbuster uh, DVD was like 15 for Backlash all of a sudden. You know, I, I try to find the best deals because I am a cheap person, so, you know. And that's my advice. If you want to collect DVDs, just find the cheapest deals. Just, you know, just wait. Just be patient. You know, you don't have to just buy the expensive ones all at once, you know, and all that. Uh, try to buy lots, too. Um, that also helps out and grow your collection. Oh, uh, yeah, this is my little uh, layout. I, you know, when I get more, I'm going to have to get another shelf, to be honest. I'm going to have to put it right here. It's all my games. That's another video coming out soon. Um, Actually, up here, um, I got WrestleMania 32. Still book. Let me move the thing out for a minute. Anyways, I got WrestleMania 32. Still book. Pretty cool. I did actually, if you count this as like a pay-per-view. Yeah, okay, you know what? I paid 30 30 for this. So I guess this is the most I paid for a DVD. And I got the WrestleMania uh, 2034 Best Buy exclusive. I only paid 12 bucks for this. Like last year, I believe. The Yeah, the Best Buy cover, whatever. And I got Royal Rumble 2009 still book. Brand new seal. I think it's a Canadian exclusive. That's cool. I paid like 15 bucks for it. And the WrestleMania 3. I know this is not like rare, but I think it's cool. I got it for like 3 bucks. And then, uh, Put these back. And then, okay, anyways. And then I got uh, Divas of New York. It's signed by Maria and Mickey James. So that's cool. I uh, got a, oop, a little dusty. Okay, anyways. I got a WrestleMania 20 signed by Kurt Angle. Yeah, and it's uh comes with a photo of Kurt Angle, so that's cool. Really cool. I do got a Walmart exclusive uh, Great American Bash. Turbo cover. Really cool. I only paid 13 for this. And then I do got the uh, Chris Benoit Tribute Show. I know uh, a few other YouTubers have this as well. 
but yeah, this is cool. I'm a big Bill Wall fan. And then just recently, I got uh, <laughs> Owen Hart uh, DVD. The um, band, not band, but like Scraps cover. I don't know how to explain it, but these were only released at Walmart and Best Buy. And uh, they got put on shelves by mistake. And they were quickly pulled off. So some, I guess some, bought it before they pulled it off. And this is probably the worst condition I saw so far. It is a little, like, you know, dings or whatever. But, hey, I got this for 30 bucks on eBay just recently. Uh, yeah, and it's not sealed. It is, it is used, but it's pretty much sealed. From, you know, someone just resealed it. So that's cool. And I like that. Thank you, sticker. It's pink and everything. But yeah, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's really about it. Um, oh uh, yeah, that's really about it. Like I said, um, oh, my bad. And I do got a Eddie Guerrero. Raw tribute show. Got that for like, I, okay. I got that for like thirty bucks, I believe. Yeah, that's a that's a cool item. It came with the people are awesome. Three descent. I don't know where. The, oh, right here, there it is. But yeah, so that's really cool. Uh, good, good condition too. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a ten in the SmackDown. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um. Yeah, that's really about it. Uh, this is my collection. Like I said, smarter than some, bigger than others. Uh, but yeah, it's going to grow and grow. I want to eventually collect every single WWE DVD that they released. So hopefully I'll get to that one day. But yeah, guys, so that will be the end of the video. Okay, bye.